Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can automate the uh, word cloud creation within the Shiny application. So in previous couple of videos you have seen how you can really create the word cloud in R and comparison cloud and stuff like that. And uh, in this video we will take a next big step to really understand uh, how we can create a shiny application so that we don't have to write any code again and again and just supplying a text file will basically going to create the word cloud all right so for that uh, what i have is the code already written for you and before i go there on the r studio just a quick information that if you are interested in learning click you can visit my channel data and tools and if you are interested in learning some tablet related stuff then you can visit my channel bi and programming videos where i am currently posting the tablet videos all right let me go to r and this is what we created last time uh, this it's basically the comparison cloud and uh, commonality cloud and here i have the ui.r and server.r code for you to create the word cloud so as you can see i am giving a file input where i am saying they upload a text file for word cloud so in this video i'm not going to talk a lot about uh, right from the scratch how to create a shiny app because that i have already you know talked a lot in previous uh, many videos so if you are not sure how to create shiny apps i would suggest you to first uh, go to those videos and see how we can create shiny page what is ui.r and server.r and then come to this video all right so what we are basically saying that hey we need a file as an input uh, to the app to create the word cloud and then based on the button we want to create that has a label create word cloud should create a word cloud and this action button does what it does is basically sends the event to server.r which actually creates a word cloud and then here in the ui the front end it plots the word cloud plot so let's see it in action first of all in run app and see how it is doing it so that's the default uh, default text that i have passed to word cloud that if nothing has been selected or when the word cloud is starting that's what it should show so some information about word cloud and it's related uh, you know words like appear surveys often made things like that and then here we have a very simple interface which talks about the word cloud that uh, upload a text file for word cloud All right let's go ahead and browse go to document and text mining text analytics and here we have uh, the example file that we have been using the from the last so many uh, example so PMO the speech double click on it here our upload is completed so great and then let's click on the create word cloud so here we have the word cloud created based on the uh, based on the parameters or based on the uh, you know configuration that we have done in the backend let's say we want to create the uh, word cloud from another document we will just select the document and say create word cloud and as you can see the word cloud is created very quickly for you so the idea behind uh, doing this is basically to show you how you can really automate it for your end users and just provide them the application where they can go ahead and create the word cloud so that they don't have to really understand the background of it or even for you who is really into the text mining and doing it day in day out and have to create multiple times a word cloud and stuff like that you just you are just automating this entire piece and you know making yourself more efficient all right uh, that's more of a talk around how you can see it in the front end let's go in the code where really the things are happening so here we are in the in the R studio I already showed you the front end the file input so this is the file input and then the action button which is creating the button the create word cloud that's what it is and then now let's go into the server.r and see it in action 
So what is happening in server.r that we are importing the text mining library to clean the text and word cloud library to create the word cloud. So based on the input dollar update that means the button that you are clicking it over here update button. So based on this update you are saying that uh, with the progress bar so if you have observed down there a progress bar was coming whenever you are creating the word cloud so that is sometimes helpful when you have a big word cloud and you can show some progress to the end user that basically interact uh, or interact with them to have a patience before the word cloud is getting created so so with the progress bar we want to set the progress bar message as processing corpus and uh, based on that we want to create set see the input file so here we have the word cloud file as input dollar wc so this wc is nothing but the file input over here so that's the id that we are passing it over here in server to get the file from front end and then we are saying that if it is uh, file is not null that means the file has been supplied then read the lines in this object wc underscore text uh, and the file by looking at its data path wc file wc file dollar data path so that's the command to read the file and store it here in the wc underscore text otherwise the, we have provided a default some text uh, so that whenever any application whenever the application opens uh, you're not showing some sort of an error that uh, you know no file is provided or something is right that is not really good so i've just uh, gone ahead and supplied a sample information about the word cloud so with that uh, we have the information then we just need to run some same code like uh, creating the uh, corpus by providing the text file the text from the text file and then moving it to a lower uh, lower uh, capital letters and then removing the numbers from the corpus, removing the stopped words, stripping the white space, telling the document. All of those things which we have been doing from past couple of videos to clean the data so that it is ready to create a word cloud. So after that, uh, here the progress bar is stopping. That means all of this progress is happening over here. And then we have uh, isolate is basically helps us uh, uh, you know waiting for users to to apply to give the file and then based on this input dollar update you know it basically hears the action from the button and that is uh, completing over here so this is the entire function uh, that is doing the processing of words and then we have a quote uh, where we are saying that we need uh, repeatable word cloud so we need to provide the function name in the repeatable so you can uh, actually go in and say question mark to repeatable to really understand but what it does is basically helps us in the shiny interface to do the repeatable or production of the repeatable word cloud so whenever you have any any such thing where you need to repeat it you know you need to use it so that's what we are doing we are creating the repeatable cloud so we have uh, supplied it into this object that this is the function is word cloud is a function that needs to be repeated and that is stored over here and then finally here is the word cloud uh, creation function where we are creating the id wc plot with the output and we are saying that we need to render the plot and again with the progress bar so that uh, user is having an idea that uh, there is some background operation is happening so with progress bar uh, we are saying the message first of all that creating the word cloud and then uh, we are getting the corpus from the wc data that we have we are getting from the front end from the users so this is the corpus is coming from wc data and then finally we are creating the word cloud which is wc underscore corpus which is which we have it got from here from wc data from here the input file and then we are saying minimum frequency colors random order rotations all of those things very simple things so that's the uh, very straightforward operations that we are doing that first we are creating a function 
to get the file and clean the data and then the second step is uh, telling the shiny that we need to create or we need to repeat the word cloud and the third thing is is basically plotting the word plot word cloud plot so with this three operation we can automate our features and let's run the app again so i need to stop it and run the app and as you can see this is the uh, basic cloud basic text if you see it over here a word cloud is an image that is made of words together resemble a cloudy shape and so that's what it is showing it over here word data size often frequency all of those things and then if we need to specify our own file let's say here in this case pmo the speech first speech and you would see down here the progress bars so create word cloud as you could see first word first progress bar and second progress bar few minute few uh, seconds back and here we have it again let me create it so as you could see another file let's try to take the first one so create word cloud so as you could see both the parameter both the progress bars and then word cloud is created all right uh, that's pretty much all i wanted to talk in this video and i will meet you in the new video uh, where I will talk about uh, how you can fine tune the parameters, things like this minimum frequency, uh, colors, or random order. So that basically helps the end user to to you know fine tune the parameters and create a word cloud which is much more meaningful for for themselves or for their end users so if if you are already following my shiny videos you know that how simple it is so i would highly encourage that you go ahead and create it and experiment on your own and uh, for some reasons if you find difficulty and uh, errors are coming or not able to configure it then stay tuned for my next video where i will post the uh, how you can fine tune the parameters for a word cloud to make it more effective one. All right, so I'll meet you in the new video with that topic.